Welcome to the country, where we do country things. On today's video, I'm going to take you guys over to the aquaponic system and show you guys what I've been uh, stocking it out with here in the last couple of days. I've been uh, poking around a little bit down at the river and down at one of the local creeks, just trying to see what I can come up with as far as uh, things to put in that system. You know, it's uh, officially spring now, even though it's fairly cold today. Um, things are starting to wake up from winter and I just wanted to see what was out and about so I just went to a local creek and went down to the river and, and caught a few things I thought were interesting and, and I wanted to put them in the aquaponic system so uh, try to get that thing stocked out a little bit and uh, try to get those tomatoes going already so uh, just give me a minute to get finished here with the goats and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I dipped up a few things in the net here and I'll show you what we got going on as far as uh, what we caught and what we're starting to stock the system with. So the first thing I'll show you is these little uh, mosquito fish. See if I can get a good look at him there. There you go. So we got a few of them. And they're real easy to catch. They live up in the shallows and now they're a live bear, so they'll have they'll have babies in here. Actually, they should. And I hope to get uh, quite a few more of those. We also got a lot of these bullfrog tadpoles. I'll show you this guy right here. This is one of the larger ones. Um, this guy is already starting to get his back legs. You can see there. So that's probably one that's coming up on a, a couple of years old. It takes a few of them, or it takes some of them, a couple of years to actually turn into frogs. So uh, I don't really know if these guys will, will turn into frogs this year or not. But if they do, I'll definitely uh, uh, keep you guys updated and show you that process. And they're really good for the system. They, they create nutrients and, and they keep algae down. And it'll be fun to watch them guys actually change the frogs if they do like i said i got a lot of those guys here's another one of the larger ones let's see here if i get it turned over he's got his little back legs there let's see Of course, we caught a few little bluegill. We got several of those. And let's see. We also managed to catch a couple of these little bullhead catfish. And put them in the system. They'll be really good for the system. Those things can survive um, in a lot warmer water with a lot less oxygen than most fish. So um, they're really good for aquaponic systems, especially when you're you're living in a in a place that that gets as hot as we do here in the summer. Uh, they 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 uh, tend to do a lot better than say other fish who who need more or higher oxygen levels. So they're really good for the system. But there's the other one. And as you can see, probably on the bottom there, I ended up getting a, a, a bunch of these mussels. So they should be really good for the system too. They should filter the water and, you know, they'll create nutrients just like anything else. Let me kind of zoom in on one I'll show you there's one that's opened up right there and zoom in on that guy you can see him right there where he's opened up
So we did end up catching quite a few of those and I might go back and actually get some more of them. Here's another one that's opened up. So I never really had those in the system before, but I've always wanted to, to, to get a few in there just to, you know, help keep the keep the water clear and keep everything kind of filtered. And like I said they'll they'll add nutrients too, and it adds adds to the to the biodiversity of the system, which I really think is important. Let's see. Oh, that guy closed up on me. And a few more. These little bluegill, like that one. Just a couple more. So you kind of get the idea. Um, here's one of the little smaller tadpoles there. Well, that one doesn't have anything for legs or anything yet, so it may not turn into a frog this year, but So there's a few things that I brought home so far. I'm, I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I did last year. I I stocked the system last year with mostly adult, uh, a mature fish, like the, the really large size bluegills and the really large size um, uh, bullhead catfish. And I think this year I'm gonna go for a, a, a quite a bit more fish, but something that's a little bit smaller in size. Uh, a lot of minnows, a lot of mosquito fish, a lot of smaller bluegill and some stuff like that. Something I can feed mostly flakes to. Uh, last year, I had to feed a lot of uh, larger like pellets and I had to feed mealworms and stuff for those larger fish. And I think it's gonna be easier for me and cheaper for me to actually um, have a lot of, of, of smaller fish in the system and be able to feed them uh, uh, fish flakes. Uh, and, and, uh, and they'll do a little bit better on that and it, it, it won't cost me as much in fish food. So. Changing it up a little bit this year. Go ahead and let all these guys go. Okay guys, so there's what we're starting with. And the next time I get a, a pretty decent day where it's, it's uh, nice enough to go film, uh, the wind ain't blowing 50 miles an hour like it has the last two or three days, I'll, uh, I'll take you guys with me and, and, and film some of it as I go down and do some exploring. But anyway, I, I appreciate you guys watching this one and I'll be back.